My name is Sierra Smith. I am a third year PhD candidate at the University of Massachusetts Medical School in the lab of Paul Gardner. I grew up in Accokeek, Maryland, and ever since I was seven years old, I wanted to be a scientist, and mainly because of the show Dexter's Laboratory, the cartoon show. Yes, I was so fascinated with that show, I even wanted my own laboratory. I just remember, like, you know, Dexter walking into his lab and just seeing, like, all the robots and the technology, and it just amazed me. And as a kid, I had a really good imagination. And I was blessed with my family who really uh, cultivated my passion for science and pushed my love for science by buying me a microscope every Christmas, um, a robot named Emilio, um, crystal sets, chemistry sets, and ever since then I fell in love. And then as I grew older, you know, and I witnessed disease, you know, in my family and things like that, I discovered, I was like, well, you know, I want to understand how these diseases are manifesting in these people. I want to understand the molecular mechanisms involved. This is a neuroscience lab, and the, the lab studies behavior, specifically nicotine addiction. There's mainly two factors that increases your susceptibility to nicotine addiction. One is environmental, and the second is genetic. And that's what we're focusing on, is the genetic aspect of it. I'm using a genome editing technique called CRISPR to create single nucleotide polymorphisms or SNPs within these um, nicotinic acetylcholine receptor subunit genes. And these SNPs have found to be associated with nicotine dependence in humans. So I'm trying to use this editing technique to create mouse models that contain these SNPs and then we could test different behaviors such as nicotine reward and nicotine withdrawal. CRISPR is such a fast editing technique and has such high efficiency compared to the other um, genome editing, editing techniques such as like zinc finger nucleases or talons. Um, I think we'll be definitely hearing more about CRISPR as the years go by, especially because I mean it just came out a, a few years ago uh, as far as um, editing in a million cells. My favorite thing about being in the lab is it really pushes my curiosity. It, it, may, it challenges my curiosity. It challenges my thinking, my critical thinking. And you don't get that a lot, uh, you know, outside of science. You know, when you're working in the lab constantly thinking about your project, you go home constantly thinking about your project, troubleshooting, you know, it just challenges you. And I like that challenge. Coming into graduate school, I wanted to do cancer. I was gun hole for cancer, and then I ended up in a neuroscience lab, and I love it. Like, I love the lab, my lab mates, I love the PI, I love the research. I would definitely say pursue your dreams, no matter what, no matter what obstacle you have in front of you, whatever, you know, it doesn't matter what you look like or where you come from. If you have a dream and a passion for something, as long as you have the dedication and the work ethic, you can achieve anything, you know, whatever you want to do in life. It's biomedical science, look for summer internships or um, things like that to get experience in research. You know, find mentors in the field of your interests so you could talk to who's been there so they could give you advice to pursue your dream.